Everybody needs protein, but did you know that not all proteins are created equal? There's a lot of misinformation swirling out there about sports nutrition. So we are here to set the record straight using top experts to help you eat, sleep, hydrate and train better. Because once these are dialed in, only then will supplements help you achieve your goals. These are the five pillars to a better you. Hey, my name is Kashish Thakur. I am a trained martial artist, a calisthenics expert, trail ultra marathon runner and a fitness enthusiast. Also, I am a roadies winner for the year 2018. We know protein is a really big deal. It's essential for our bodies and it's required in sufficient amounts. But what are some of the different proteins? There's dairy protein like whey and casein. There's different types of collagen for your skin and joints. And there's plant-based protein too. The list goes on. Today we'll break down different types of protein and their benefits and then you can decide which is best for you. Let's start with a popular type dairy protein. Whole cow's milk is made of about 88% water and variable amounts of all three macronutrients 5% carbohydrates, 4% fat and 3% protein. From that 3% there are two main proteins whey and casein. Casein is the most abundant protein at 80% while the remaining 20% is whey. You know the thin liquid layer that rests atop yogurt. That contains whey protein. And the creamy semi-soft part of the yogurt contains casein. What makes these two proteins so popular is that they are both complete proteins. Meaning they contain all 9 of the essential amino acids that can help to support muscle recovery. Both whey and casein also contain the three branch chain amino acids. Leucine, isoleucine and valine which helps support muscle recovery. Both sound like pretty good options to me. Maybe Jonathan can help us break down these two proteins even more. Hey Jonathan, can you talk us through the difference between whey and casein protein? Whey is what we call a fast digesting and absorbing protein when compared to casein. The amino acids in whey protein will peak in the bloodstream quicker than micellar casein protein, which are released slowly over many hours. Micellar casein, on the other hand, is a slow digesting protein when compared to whey. This is because when casein protein reaches the stomach, it thickens and forms a gel-like substance which can support satiety, the feeling of being full. This gel also takes longer to break down, meaning amino acids are slowly released in the intestine and absorbed. Now for those who want to include plant into diets, what can you tell us about plant-based proteins? Yeah, there are many plant sources that contain protein, like nuts, seeds, and beans. Combine a variety of plant-based protein options throughout the day to ensure you're getting a variety of amino acids from these sources. Why combine? When it comes to plant sources, most individual plant proteins are incomplete, meaning they are low or lacking in one or more of the amino acids the body needs. An exception to this would be soy, as it's considered a complete plant protein. Mix it up in the kitchen when it comes to plant protein. Got it. So we know about different types of protein. But now I'm left wondering how and when should I use protein and protein supplements? Regardless of goals, a healthy balanced diet should be the foundation. Aim to meet the majority of your nutritional needs through food. High quality protein can be found in foods like milk, cottage cheese, yogurt, eggs, chicken, fish and soy products. Other protein sources can come from a variety of plant-based foods like almonds, whole oats, or brown rice. Protein supplementation is a convenient option that can help meet daily protein needs and support your protein or healthy lifestyle goals. You can add dairy proteins throughout the day, in the morning to balance a meal, between meals as snacks, before and after exercise, or before bed. Remember, muscle recovery is an ongoing process that can last several days. How you use whey or casein protein is entirely up to you. Find what works best for you and your goals. After exercise, whey protein is an option as it's a fast digesting protein. This is what makes gold standard 100% whey such a popular choice for muscle recovery support. Aim for 20 to 40 grams of protein after exercise. Before bed is another great opportunity to get your protein in but isn't always thought of that way. Consider casein. Micellar casein protein is a slow digesting protein compared to whey as the digestion process can last up to several hours. This makes micellar casein protein a great option before bed to support muscle recovery as you sleep. Here's a tip I love if you prefer to eat something instead of drinking. Simply put casein protein in a bowl and add just enough water to stir it into a mousse or pudding. Throw it in the refrigerator or freezer for 15 to 20 minutes and it will thicken like a soft serve frozen yogurt or ice cream. You can enjoy it that way or add nuts, seeds or frozen fruit. Get extra protein and satisfy my sweet tooth before bed. I'm in. 
Thanks Jonathan for dropping some knowledge on us all today. When it comes to protein, there's plenty of options to choose from. Whether it's whey, casein or variety of plant sources, each option has their benefits. The best protein is the one that's right for you and your goals. Thanks for tuning into Optimum 5.